Dunk. Dunk. Oh, Ma! What's for dinner? Can we have meatloaf? Yeah. You're the best. Thank you, Ma. Hey guys, I got a new camera today. Usually when I go up out town, I do not like to bring my big camera. Sometimes I do. So recently I acquired another camera I bought it on eBay. I found it for like $400 cheaper than it usually is. It's actually right over there. Hold on. It's the RX100 Mark V A. This is one of my favorite point and shoots of all time. It's small, compact, and handy. And uh, today I think I want to vlog with it, so let's go check it out. Oh yeah, 136. Oh. That's how much it cost me oh. to fill my tank up from zero to 100%. <laughs> Twelve dollars. <laughs> what are you owing about? I was watching him fill up his tank. He's at five dollars. <laughs> oh. Feels good to just vlog. We are here at Agno Aquatics. Agno Aquatics, not Aquatics. I wanna go check out what he has in store today. Cause I'm going stir crazy and I gotta do something. I'm always impressed with the amount of uh, selection of rainbows. Still got their albino millenniums. Look at their Bosmani. Or Bosmani? Bomani? <laughs> These are the Gary Lang ones, I'm pretty sure. They got some incredible color to them. Look at that. Look at these Kamakas fighting. Or oh, they were sparring. Look at the tops of their head. That's my favorite part of these Kamakas. They just pulse. Is there anything you like? All of them. All of them? The nano fish. I like the green phantom tetra. What do you think of that one? Which one? I'm gonna get green phantom pleco oh. tetra. <laughs> Yeah, he's cool. Like his high fin. I like his spot. What do you want? These. What are these? I don't know. They look like black Moscow guppies. They're amazing. I want them. Check these guys out. The brilliant rubby nose rasbor. I know dang tanks will love these. Um. So they have a sheen to them. George says. Look at that. You could totally see it. That's pretty cool. I love rummy noses because they school tightly and um, always a great tetra to do a uh, biotope with. I'm here with the plant lover. Hi. We're looking at this red plant, which he can't identify. Yeah, it's a bad example. I don't feel like a plant. Lady. Crazy plant lady. Crazy plant lady. What plant is that? Hi. <laughs> what? The red, the red one. It's a Luigia. Oh. Um, you want to know the name of it though. <laughs> <laughs> Digging these brilliant rasboras. Really cool if you have like a 55, get like 20 of these guys in there because I like their long bodies. Let me see if they, yep. Yep, do the whole schooling action and everything. Nice red tails, lateral lines. All right, we just got done with Agno Aquatics. I just picked up a bunch of CPDs, <laughs> and you got this little stick. She got a stick. See, scaper tip. Whenever you go and see something that you like at the shop, just buy it, because someday you're gonna wanna make a scape with it, and then you already have it. Yeah, it's quick tip for you. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get some ice cream. Oh, thanks, George and Alicia. <laughs> the taco <-lia. laughs> Actually, Keanu, can you tell me how to pronounce this? Yeah, Keanu, <laughs> please comment. Now I'm gonna stop by Dave's shop because I haven't seen him for a long time. I mean, he's been going through some other stuff besides this whole coronavirus thing. We're gonna see how he's doing, so. Well, I think he's closed. Hello? As of 3.19.20. Oh. Just, dang it, just missed him. Oh. All right, it is the next day. 
As you can see, the CPDs are still in hiding. Nowhere to be found. There's actually one right there. And he's gone. <laughs> it's gonna take him a little while to get used to it, but uh, yeah. Thanks for following along today, guys. Actually, I'll bring you guys downstairs to see what the fish room looks like, give you an update with this little camera. All right, here we are. I'm gonna show you guys a new tank here. Doesn't look like much, right? I put all my guppies in here. These are all the Vienna guppies that Corey um, gave me the parents and I bred them. I finally got a breeding tank kind of set up. Kind of mucky looking right now because I set it up yesterday, but I got all the guppies in here. There's about, I want to say 30 of them. And I'm gonna show you the parents right now. They're over here. These are the parents. It's gonna be very hard to focus. There's a mom right there, big old female. Yeah, let me bring this light closer so you guys can see it. Look at that. Just some beautiful, beautiful specimens for sure. I gotta send out um, some to Grassy Peak to Chris. I know he wants them really badly. I'm trying not to, you know, spread these guys around too much. Look at my moss bowl. It's beginning to have like some kind of flat top. There, Abrosis Cory's. Look at this tank from afar. Looks pretty cool. Here is the cichlid shell dweller tank. Tons of babies down here. Let me see, right there. You see babies? So you got shell babies over there. I got daffodil babies in the back over there. And these are the nautilus shells that I put in. It's pretty funny, it's kind of inception. <laughs> like, uh, I think one of the daffodils made a home back over there in one of the big ones. Uh, let's see. We got the Conwensis here. Showing some beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at that. Look at that. They're getting, they're getting along so well in here. I gotta catch some of these CPDs out of this one and bring them to the tank upstairs. These are one from Dan. So, uh, yeah, I ripped out all the moss. So it has to grow over again. You see that string algae there. That's the reason why I ripped up all the moss. Over here, we got the green neons. Thank you, George. At least he's gonna take these home. The moss wall is getting there. Has some algae at the top, as you can see, but it's getting there. My cold water tank, doing just okay. Got lots of algae, same thing as that one. It has uh, white clouds right there. Has rice fish, has guppies. So yeah, if that's not a cold water tank, I don't know what is. Oh, why is this buse on the floor right there? Got the bristle noses out right there. Oh, this tank's doing pretty well. Bristle noses be eating all the Amazon leaves. Look at that. Freaking bristle noses. It used to look so good. There's one eating it right now. And the 20 gallon tank that I showed you guys a while back. Doing good. Pea puffer is still back there. Look at that, right next to a snail. Let's take a look at the turtle. There she is back there. Check out this uh, nearite. It has a barnacle on him. Isn't that cute? <laughs> um, there's the Buenos Aires Tetris, the last two survivors. All right guys, thanks for following us along today. If you guys like the video and want me to do more vlogs, which I probably think you guys do, they're just a lot more fun to watch, a lot more raw. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next vlog, which is probably soon. <laughs>